Daily blinds transfer to Ajax sees Jose Mourinho move a step closer to purging Louis Van Hall's Manchester United legacy. Blind was near anonymous in his final season at Old Trafford, and his return to Amsterdam ends an underwhelming four years at the club. Notably he is the fourth Van Hall signing to be shown the door by Mourinho, with Matteo Darmian expected to be the fifth if United can find a buyer this summer. It is an indictment of the former United manager's confused and chaotic transfer strategy in two summer windows. Indeed Van Hall was as ruthless as anyone with his own recruits, quickly moving on Angel Di Maria, Radamel Falcao and Victor Valdez. Meanwhile, he had his own concerns about Luke Shaw, as has Mourinho, and froze out another of his signings in Andor Herrera for long periods during his reign. Alexis Sanchez Manchester United rumours run wild when Mourinho bemoaned the heritage of the squad he inherited at United last season, it was easy to surmise the finger of blame was being directed at Van Hall. He has made more of an effort to ship out the Dutchman signings than those of Sir Alex Ferguson. Memphis Depay, Bastian Schweinsteiger and Morgan Schneiderlin were gone within months of him taking the job. That he managed to lose such relatively small amounts on Depay and Schneiderlin was commendable. In the case of Schweinsteiger, as with Wayne Rooney, it was about removing a high earner on a long contract. Blind has completed a move back to Ajax. Blind and Darmian have proved more difficult to shift despite it being clear for a long time that neither figured in his plans. The pair have added to a bloated squad in desperate need of trimming. While so many of Van Hall's signings have made their way, Mourinho has found himself increasingly reliant on Ferguson's players. He named an entire back five of Ferguson signings in the FA Cup final, David De Gea, Antonio Valencia, Chris Smalling, Phil Jones and Ashley Young. The £52 million signing Fred this summer is intended to finally replace Michael Carrick, despite Van Hall bringing in both Schweinsteiger and Schneiderlin to complete a midfield overhaul some three years ago. Manchester United manager Jose Mourinho identifies Gareth Bale alternative Mourinho simply didn't believe many of Van Hall's signings were of the required quality. And the futures of those remaining will make fascinating viewing. Shaw is still to convince Mourinho, despite the decision to shelve plans to buy a left back this summer. Anthony Marshall's position looks perilous, with the player's representative stating now is the time to leave. Van Hall famously described the French striker as his gift to his successor. Mourinho has rarely looked like a grateful recipient, and interest in Gareth Bale, Ivan Perisic and William this summer is a testament to that. Herrera, meanwhile, will find his first team opportunities further hindered by the arrival of Fred, the third midfielder signed by Mourinho in three summers, to underline how dissatisfied he was with the options he was faced with when succeeding Van Hall. Ironically David Moyes' transfer dealings have fared better under Mourinho, who personally fought to secure Maru Anfellaini a new contract, and has used Juan Mata far more than expected after selling him at Chelsea. Marcos Rojo stands out as something of an exception of Van Hall's buys. The Argentine was handed a new deal last year, yet Mourinho has placed the signing of a top-class centre-back among his transfer priorities this summer. It would come as little surprise if he, too, departed in the near future as Mourinho continues his task of making this United squad his own. Get all the latest Manchester United news first with our new app. Download it here now.